Y'all, sometimes I get so hung up on the fact that we're living in The Handmaid's Tale that I forget we're also living in Footloose. But that was hard to overlook this week when a shockingly Baconian story played out in Louisiana, up to and including the happy ending. This is, of course, the story of 17-year-old public high school student Kaylee Timonet, a senior at Walker High School who had the lecherous audacity to engage in rhythmic motions at a social gathering like some kind of vulgar hussy. And not only did she brazenly dance, but she did so near a person who was, dare I even say these words in public forum for fear of overburdening my fainting couch, twerking. Yeah, girl danced at a party near somebody who was twerking. Not even a school dance, a private event. But there was video and her principal at her public high school saw the video, called her into his office, told her what an irredeemable harlot she really was, revoked her position in student government, withdrew his endorsement of a scholarship, and told her he questioned her faith because of her sinful activities. He even printed out Bible verses for her showing that what she did was evil. Again, this is a public school, people. For her part, Kaylee spent the time crying hysterically by her own account because it can be disconcerting to be a 17-year-old and suddenly find yourself in the wrong century. And when her mom found out about it that afternoon, she was every bit as pissed about it as I'd have been. But unfortunately, she didn't have a signature hammer, so instead, she just went to the school the next morning and demanded the principal apologize, reverse his decision, and re-endorse her for the scholarship. And he refused. He was probably busy tearing down a teen center or something. So skip ahead until this misogynistic bullshit makes the national news, and suddenly John Lithgow over here is singing a different tune and offering up his big, long public apology. But Kaylee and her mom say it's too little, too late. The deadline for the scholarship has come and gone, so that's already lost. And no amount of I'm sorry is going to undo the very real trauma that this innocent child had to undergo because this fundamentalist creep got turned on by the way she swayed her hips. And if you want to know how insincere the apology is, by the way, I should point out that according to Kaylee, it contains a lie that is clearly meant to deflect some of his culpability. In the public letter, he says, quote, during my conversation with Kaylee regarding the dance party, the subject of religious beliefs was broached by Kaylee and myself, end quote. And then he goes on to apologize for his comments and said they were inappropriate. But here's the thing. As Kaylee makes clear in a TikTok she released about the whole thing, she never broached the subject of religion. That was an entirely him thing. And now he's trying to make it sound like it just came up in conversation naturally and not that he'd printed literal Bible verses out and apparently given her a religious bracelet on her way out. Anyway, I promised you a happy ending, so here it is. That motherfucker is out. Principal Jason St. Pierre is no longer running the show at Walker High School, and it's unclear right now if he stepped away on paid leave, if he took an early retirement, or if he just straight up resigned in disgrace. But one way or the other, he lost. And something tells me the school district is going to be making up way more than the financial loss from the scholarship Kaylee lost. And that seems like something worth dancing over. And with apologies for how stingy Noah suddenly got when I told him I wanted to end this week's twim with a big dance number, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah and Eli. <laughs> 